No, I didn't forget it. I got it right here. Snurdly just gave me a <clears throat> gentle reminder. And I was going to talk about a New York Times story from yesterday about how upward mobility can harm you. Success is bad. It can hurt your health. Got it right here. I'm going to get to it and the immigration stuff, and it will, it'll be done. we go home. Greetings and welcome back. L. Rushbo at the EIB Network, Excellence in Broadcasting, a network named after my uh, talents and performance. Telephone number is 800-282-2882 if you want to be on the program. And without any further ado, Grand Block, Michigan, this is uh, Melissa, who's on the phone with her 7-year-old daughter, Elizabeth. I'd like to welcome both of you to the program, and thank you both for holding on. Hi, Rush. Uh, Hi, Rush. <laughs> this is so cute. I just... I just melted. How, how are you doing, Elizabeth? I'm doing good. Very good. You're seven years old, is that right? Yep, seven. Seven years old. Yep. Well, welcome to my program. It's great to have you here. Thank you. What's up? Well, she wanted to let you know that we listened to your um, Rush Revere and the Brave Pilgrim story on the car ride home for Christmas vacation. So. I. The audio book. On the audio book. Right. And I assume yeah. you liked it? Yep. She, um, she said she thought it was really, really good. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised, but I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be funny, Elizabeth. You can laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, well, um, she, she had a funny part that she wanted to tell you. Oh, okay. I'd like to hear that. The funny part was when I found out that Liberty was potty trained. <laughs> <laughs> you found out Liberty was potty trained. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> See, folks, this is this is why it takes real talent to be a children's author. To understand <laughs> what it is that's going to make children laugh, what it is they're going to find humorous. Um, it, it, so the idea that a horse would be potty trained is is uh, is funny. I I admit it is funny. Who would ever think of that? Say not me. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> so Liberty is your favorite character. Yep. Who's your um, next favorite character? Who's your next favorite? Ross. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tell him. Rush. Rush Revere. Rush Revere. Rush Revere, yeah. You know, he's jealous because Liberty's getting most of the fan mail. You're you're uh you have a lot of company in liking in liking Liberty. Well, Elizabeth, I tell you, I'd like to do something for you. Uh, you're so nice and I I really do appreciate that you and your mom have been on hold for so long. We have this we have this thing in 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 our uh store at the 2 by T website which is where the Adventures of Rush, Revere, and Liberty and all can be found at our website. We've got this little bear called Ted T. Bear, Teddy Bear. Uh, and it's, it's, oh, it's the cutest little bear. It's white. It's, it's, uh, it's dressed as a uh, founding father as, as in the colonial times with a tricorn hat. And it's just the cutest thing. And I want to send you one. Thank you. You're more than well, I want to send you one since you're so nice and you've been so complimentary about the about about the book. Uh, and you, people like you have have made this a roaring success. And I can't thank you all enough. I really, it's it's I'm I can't tell you how pleasing it is to know that you really liked it. Yeah, I we thought it was interesting um, that there could be more stories in the future. So well. Yep. It, it's 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 a fascinating and American history is is limitless as deep as you want to go you can go and, and uh, once you have this uh, device I call it of of the horse Liberty who can time travel and go anywhere then that you can write about virtually any aspect of American history that you want which we intend to do. That's good. That's good. <laughs> She's being a little shy. She said that was good, though. Yeah. Well, I understand that. I mean, you're on the radio, and there are just you know, 20 million people listening. And then I could, when I, I used to be a caller, too. 
uh, Elizabeth, before I was, I've been where you are. I know how it can be nerve wracking out there, but you just need to look at it as though you're just talking to me. Yep. Yeah. Well, is there anything else that you'd like? Is there anything else that you want to tell me about it? Or uh, do you, any, do you have any suggestions like what we could do next? Well, what, uh, go ahead and ask him. What did Rush Revere do in Liberty do for Christmas? What did Rush Revere and Liberty do for Christmas? Well, they got each other presents, and they sat around, and they talked about where they were going to go next. And you know what? And Liberty, Liberty, you wouldn't, this whole experience has given Liberty the horse an ego like you can't believe. <laughs> Liberty wants to be on TV now. <laughs> Liberty thinks, Liberty thinks cool. that, a, the, uh, Liberty thinks that a book is just not enough. <gasps> And so they they sat around and talked about, you know, maybe they could uh, be on TV somehow. Are you going to make it into a cartoon? Well, Liberty wants to. That's that's you you nail. Liberty wants to be in a cartoon. Liberty thinks that a book is cool and all that, but like Liberty is jealous of Scooby Doo and a number of other of these cartoon characters. Why can't I do that? <laughs> so, uh, you know, with with all Elizabeth as you'll learn, as you're with all performers, all performers have egos, and they all think that they just they're just more important and bigger, and they start making demands on you. <laughs> and you have to do what you can to keep them happy once they become popular. So Liberty Yao yeah, wants wants to be in a cartoon or wants to be in a in, on TV somehow. That would be neat. That'd and, be and of course, the, here's Elizabeth. Here's the problem: what Rush Revere isn't sure about because Rush Revere knows that. A human being on TV with an animal can't win. People always <laughs> like the animal more. That's true. That's true. It's yeah, very true. So Rush Revere is, you know, he's uh, he's guarded about it, but he also he's he's excited about the possibilities too. So you never know. I mean, with Liberty making these demands, and as big as Liberty has become, you have to listen. Say we would definitely watch it. He would definitely watch. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Well, we'll we'll see. You never know. You never know. But um, I, I, with with the horse now demanding to be on TV, uh, and you know, talent dealing with talent, Elizabeth. I mean, it's a different breed of person. Talent is just like actors and actresses and so forth. I mean, they're just it, it's yeah. a, you gotta. They're very sensitive. They are very egocentric, and if they don't get their way, they pout and they. Uh, so we have to take what Liberty wants into 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 consideration, and who knows, it may happen. Yep, it may. Well, now you hang on because I want to put Mister Snurdly back on the phone with you. If you can get your address, so we can send you Ted T. Bear. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. And also, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna send an autographed copy of the book so that um, to to you. Can Liberty sign it? (laughs) Can Liberty? So this is exactly what I meant. You can't win. (laughs) Yeah. Well, well, Liberty Liberty has his own signature. Kind of just. Stamps the horse hoof on the page. We'll we'll figure out a way for Liberty to find it. Perfect. Okay, so hang on. Don't don't go away. We will. Hey, hang on. Thanks, Rush. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm I'm ecstatic that you that you liked it. You made my day. And we'll take a brief time out here, folks. Be back and continue right after this. Don't go away. The Russian Ball Radio Program will continue. 